Hey everyone, I thought I would take a few minutes this morning to kind of go through my haul that I got from yesterday and I'm so super excited because I saved a ton of money. I was so happy about it. I really wasn't expecting to do this so I'm super excited about everything I bought yesterday. So this is the most of it and I thought I would go through this section first. So let me take a moment to get rid of these boxes here and we'll get right into it. Okay, so yesterday my husband and I, um, we went to LA. So our anniversary was, I want to say like two weeks ago. It's terrible. And my parents just kind of gave us some fun money to go out and have a nice day kind of thing. So what we decided to do was to go to LA, go to the Mattel store, you know, go to the movies, that kind of thing. So we did go to the Mattel store and I found some great deals. It was, they were having a President's Day sale and, you know, there was a tiered saving. So, you know, you spend so much, you get so much off. There was a green tag savings. Uh, plus I have like a membership there plus... I have uh, coupons and things, so it, it was just great. Uh, so, the first things I found or that I was looking for really were the fashion packs. I was kind of hoping they would have, not necessarily new, but a different um, variety than from the last time I was there. So they had some of the bigger packs that were different. And I purchased uh, this pack here that has the little roughly red top jean shorts I think this is a belt here um, a little brown bag and this nice little I don't know high-low dress I don't yeah, and a little cover-up and it was okay I just really liked the top <laughs> so and maybe this dress I wanted to see what it was like more so on a curvy Barbie so I bought that and then I also got this dress, or this set, because I've been wanting this set here. Uh, but it does come with a little red purse, sunglasses, a jean jacket, and another uh, purpley blue skirt here. I would have bought another one. It has the cat and glasses t-shirt and a black vest with a dress and whatnot. But I had already purchased it through eBay. Unfortunately, it came in yesterday. And when I got home and opened it, it was the wrong fashion bag. It wasn't even that one. So I have to return it because that is the one I want. And then, you know, maybe when my husband's in LA, I'll have to send him over to the Mattel store and pick it up. So there was one last fashion pack I bought. And that is this one here with the pink gingham outfits. It's two different materials, two different gingham colors. but And then it has a big bow purse and a bracelet. And I bought this Fashionista. Let me just move the camera a bit here. So then I bought this Fashionista. She's an older one. But with her being curvy, and I was trying some clothes on Danny, who is my current curvy doll, um, I just wanted some more curvy clothes for her that I thought would fit. And these have these cute little yellow sandals and this pretty blocking um type um sundress for the summer plus some little sunglasses which i think i may already have but and she's kind of she's pretty too so i got her and there's all the barbies in her collection or group that came out around the same time so i purchased her and the the savings i got really was it was her this fashion pack and I bought this <laughs> and I needed a little extra so what happened was this was my second purchase at Mattel I went back in and she was on sale for five dollars just just this fashionista number so she was on sale for five dollars this is $4.99 plus I get like a membership discount I think it's 10% um, and I had a $10 coupon because you go in, you spend so much money, you get a stamp for each, you know, for, I forget what the dollar amount is. And then once the card is collected, you know, you get $10 off. You can use the card for $10 off. So I had one of those. 
And so I wanted to use it. Uh, so it ended up, I paid after the card, I paid $5 for all three items. So that was like a savings of about $10 for me. So there was that. These I bought with a larger purchase. So I'm gonna set them over to the side though and show you parts of that larger purchase. So the first one I found is this black box. Now, there is a like a green tag section at Mattel and anything green tagged is 50% off. But they were running a special so that if you bought three green tag items, you would get 70% off all three green tag items. And so when I was there, I found one item and I was like, oh, I really kind of want this, but I needed to find two more. And so I had found this as a green tag item. It was really inexpensive, $4, 50% off. You know, and then if I found three, like it would have been 70% off. So I figured I'd grab it for Emmy. So my reborn doll, Emmy, has a little toy. But this was the third find I found. Um, and I will show you it is where's the tag for the green tag. So here it is it's regular price $85. And this was 70% off because I found three green tag items. So I don't know if you can see his, there we go. So this is the Stephen Burroughs Nisha Barbie doll. And you can see here, there's a big explanation on the back. Now, the reason this box was in the green tag section is because the top of the box is ripped. And I'm sure for many collectors that's a big deal. For me it's not because I just throw the boxes out anyway. I don't use them. So I thought this is perfect. So this is Barbie. Um, she is a gold label collection doll. And let's just open the box and take a look at her. So here she is out of the plastic. I don't know if it's easier to see her this way or not. But there she is. So she was $80 with 70% off. So I ended up paying, I think, $24 for her plus tax. So let me put her aside and I will grab the next one. Okay, so this is the other green tag item I bought. This is the first one I saw and I'm like, oh, I want it. And I, that's what made me find the other two pieces. So this is, let's see, I'll show you the tag. So it is regular $174.99. So at 70% off, I paid $50 for this item. It's an Oscar de la Renta Barbie. And here you can see the back and where she talks about it. But this is the, um, well, let me just read this first part so you know. So it's inspired by the runway something blue bridal look. Barbie doll is a take your breath away vision in this ivory embroidered lace over chiffon trumpet gown. The simplicity of the gown's fluid lines and tears of the wispy light blue train flowing behind her personifies the designer's passion for interpreting romance in a stylish, modern way. So, I guess, I don't know if she's the something blue bridal look Barbie or if something blue bridal is the name of the, the original piece that went down the wrong way, but I thought she was pretty. Uh, she is, you know, m no more than 10,000 are made of her worldwide. And I should have said on the previous one, Nisha here, she is um, out of 4,400 4, worldwide. So let's take a look. And you can see, you'll see this the reason that she was again in the green tag section is because of the the box 
So you can see there's like a little damage here on the box and creasing. And then there's a big crease through here and it's um, ripped here. And the last item I bought at Mattel, so since you spend so much money, they often will have a deal where you get a special toy uh, or choice of toys at a cheaper price. Uh, the last time I went to Mattel, I bought one of those babies that uh, you put their packages in water and they show you their clothes. This time, my husband wasn't with me, so I got to choose my own thing, so I was happy. <laughs> Well, I was happy last time too, but. So anyway, I bought this Scooby set. It's regular $40. I paid $10 for it because of the deal. And I just thought it was so cute. First of all, I love the colors of it with the um, neon orange and yellows. And then it's got the little monsters here at the top. Here, there's one in behind too, the little minor bad guy. Uh, it has Scooby-Doo. And then it's got all these fun little stuff like um, the, there's barrels somewhere here that go in here and shoot out. Oh yeah, they're in here. This ladder falls down. This opens up and shoots out these little coins. Um, if we move him, this opens out and Scooby can escape on the, the little cart. And if we turn it around, you can see all the different things where I was saying the barrel goes, or shh. The barrels shoot out, the little miner, um, and how the ladder will fall here. And you can just see there's like a lot of fun things to do. So I was like, oh, you know, maybe I'll play with this myself a little, or just set it up to display. And then when my little nephew, who's like two years old maybe now, when he comes over, I'll give him this set. I think he's two. Or maybe I'll wait till he's a little older now too. But this is the Imaginex Haunted Ghost Town for Scooby-Doo. So for my Mattel trip, when I added everything together, all of these things, the two gold collector's edition Barbies, uh, Scooby-Doo, the Fashionista, the fashion packs, I ended up paying for all of this uh, da, 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 da. I want to say it was a hundred dollars, but like a hundred and change. So savings wise, I saved $250 for all of this stuff. And I was so happy. Like I was thrilled that I got those Barbies for 70% off. Um, and then I basically got all this extra stuff. I was just, like I said, super happy. So then we went to... Tuesday morning, and we don't have one in this, oh no, pardon me, we went to Savers, because I wanted to see if I could find something to move Barbies. I've never been to a Savers, but I thought, I've heard about it, um, so I thought we were in the LA area, there's Savers there, there aren't in where I live, and so I went in to one, and I didn't find a made to move Barbie, but I did find this Barbie here, for three dollars, she is articulated though and it's what 12 points of articulation I guess so her head moves her shoulders her elbows her wrists her hips and her knees and also her chest so I don't know what Barbie she is um, and I can't really see her face that well but I don't want to take her out of the past well I can I want to clean her up this is her face and she has little earrings as well so I don't know who she is I do know she is a Barbie because I can see the print on her body here at the back and her right here that but I thought she can I wanted her for a Barbie donor a body Barbie a body donor uh, so I thought I would try and see, I mean, for $3, she was the only one there that was decently articulated. But after Savers, we went to 
Tuesday morning and I found this Barbie here. And I wasn't going to get her, actually. I was gonna get something else. Um, it was the hammock for the Barbie because I wanted the sleeping kitty. And I showed my husband and he's like, oh no, I love that Barbie. You should get the Barbie instead. So I was like, okay, well, she's regular 40. She's on at Ruby, tu uh, Ruby Tuesday. Tuesday morning for $15. So, okay, fine. I'll get her. And, um, and for those of you who don't know, my husband is, I bring him along for all my hobbies and he knows my Barbies, knows their names. He's named some of them, you know, um, he just, he supports me. So he, a lot of times if he says, Oh no, I like this one. I'll be like, okay, well I'll get this one instead. So I did end up buying her. I brought her up to the front and the cashier was ringing everything in. She's like, oh, she's on sale. I was like, okay. And I didn't pay much mind to it. And then the total, because I bought some other personal stuff, but the total for everything was $15. And I'm like, whoa. And so I looked at the receipt and she was actually $3. So I found her for $3. She is very pretty. But here's the back. So you can see the three different versions. I would have loved to have had both of them. Like if I could have found all three of them for $3, that would have been amazing. So, so in total for the day, I ended up spending just on like Barbie stuff. I'll take out my home stuff. I spent $106 for all of this. And I basically, if you say she is $40, I saved $300. But if, you know, you go by the $15 price, I saved $273 um, for all of these items. So, you know, I was telling my husband, I didn't really save that because I wouldn't have bought all this stuff <laughs> if it was a regular price. But still, I and was still super, super happy and excited. Um you know, thank God my parents ended up <laughs> giving us some money to kind of enjoy ourselves. And then we went and saw the movie Alita, which was okay. Uh, you know, it was a really fun day for both of us. So Yeah, I thought I would just share this. And I will do some box openings uh, because I don't want my dolls just sitting in the box. So I do like to get them out and I want to see the, especially the Oscar de la Renta doll a little closer up and I will do a video of those and hopefully get them up this week. So thanks for watching.